So welcome to the first Open Door Church Kids Church Online. So I hope you enjoy. We've got a game for you, a song that you can join in with, a story and then a craft. Enjoy! Welcome to Open Door Church Children's Work Online! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! And in the left corner, introducing Big Man Andy Philly. Yeah! And in the right corner, who you've all been waiting for, his gorgeous son, Ethan Phillips. Woo! Everyone's going crazy. It's brilliant. Well, that's me. Okay. So today for you guys, we're going to be doing a simple quiz. Me, the son, versus him. Simple. The big man. All you're going to do is ask a bunch of questions, and the person that answers them the best is the winner. And the one that loses gets a pie to the face. It's not going to be me. And over to our lovely assistant, Karis Phillips, who's going to take over cool. asking the questions. Cool. So, uh, Andy's going to go first. Um, how many stones did David hit Goliath with? One. Hey! Hey! One stone. Okay, so Dad's in the lead. Uh, who was David's dad? This is me. Yeah. Yeah, he was a shepherd. Um, I don't know that. It has to be his name. <laughs> the shepherd. <laughs> next question. Sorry, Jay. Next question. Jay. Yeah, that's close. Joseph. Next question. Okay, wrong. It's Jesse. Jesse. Yeah, uh, yeah. So Jesse. Okay. Next question. I don't uh, know the last. Goliath asked someone to fight him over and over again. For how many days did Goliath ask to... Uh, Three. Ask this. It's my question. Oh, it's it? question. Oh, 30. Uh, wrong. Uh, yeah, Three. 40. 40. 40. Oh, it's 40. Three or 40. Days. Oh. Three or 40. Okay. Uh, four, three. Three. Ethan, yeah. what weapon did Goliath have? Goliath. Yeah. A big old spear sword. Ah! Yeah! Big old spear sword! That's what it says in the Bible that Goliath had a big old spear sword. Spear! Spear! Well, we accept it. Okay, I'll tell you. That's what I said, spear first. It's, it's neck and neck. Neck Last and neck. question. This is the hard question. We're one of these, Karen. Okay, okay. Last question, Dad. <laughs> what was the name of David's oldest brother? Goliath. I have extra questions if we need a tiebreaker. Okay, so it's fine. Yeah, all right. Okay, here we go. Ethan. Yeah. <laughs> Who is the commander of the Israelite army? I want to say Goliath, but that's too obvious. <laughs> so I'm gonna wait. No, 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 no. Give me a sec. Can I phone a friend? Um, is that possible? You can phone my English. You can Put your that. answer in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna go with just like a your bog standard James. Oh, oh who was, was Andy? It was Abner son of Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> it was Abner son of Nerd. That's very different to You really do need to read your Bible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> if this is any lesson to you kids, read your Bible. Read your Bible. You'll get a pie in the face. When you're older. <laughs> Alright, brilliant. So am I lost then? Yeah, you have wait, to. Wait, wait. Okay. And the loser gets a pie in the face. Oh, just I'd like to say, any uh, young person, any young person that wants to become a youth leader, just remember this is the second pie in the face I've had <laughs> in the past year. <laughs> right then, let's get it done. Three, get two, it one, splat! Ah! Yeah! yeah! I can't yeah. breathe. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's David and we're going to sing a song together. Now this is a song that I'm sure you all know, um, no matter what age you are. I'm sure you sing in Kids Club, I know you sing in Mini Steps, so this is a song we should all know. I'm putting a little twist on it now. So that song is Our God is a Great Big God. I'm sure you know it. I'm going to change it slightly though. The reason we're doing this song this morning is because well, the story we're going to look at in the Bible is the story of David and Goliath. And it's all about an arm, about armies fighting a big battle, and it's about how God made the victory happen, and God is on the, on our side. So when we sing this, we're going to sing it 
about how great big God is, how great and big our God is. We're going to sing it as if we're a mighty army shouting and cheering on about our God. So when we sing the lines, our God is a great big God, at the end we're going to go, oi, oi. It goes like this. Our God is a great big God. Oi, oi. Our God is a great big God. Oi, oi. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hands. Okay, this is a very small, small bit of time you've got to shout it. But basically in between each line you're shouting, Oi, oi. Like you're a big army cheering on our God who is great and big. Okay? Let's have some fun. I'm sure you know the actions as well. So join in at home with the actions. I'll do what I can while playing. I can't do them all, so you're going to have to help me out there. Okay, here we go.
Carl. Today we're reading about David and Goliath from the Gospel Story Bible. This is in the Old Testament, which is the first bit of the Bible. Okay. Not long after David was anointed king, the Philistines gathered, gathered their army to attack God's people again. Saul was still king, but the Spirit of the Lord had left him. The Philistines were on one mountain, and King Saul's army were on another, with a valley in between. The Philistines had a great warrior named Goliath on their side. He was nine feet tall and wore heavy armour. Each morning, for forty days, Goliath came out to the soldiers of Israel and made fun of them and their god. He dared them to fight and said, Choose a man for yourselves and let him come down to me. If he is able to fight with me and kill me, then we will be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then you shall be our servants and serve us. The men of Israel were terrified and no one volunteered to fight Goliath. From time to time, David travelled to the battlefield to bring food for his brothers in the king's army. One day, David was there to hear Goliath mocking Israel and daring soldiers to fight him. David asked the soldiers, Who is this uncircumcised Philistine? that he should defy the armies of the living God. David's oldest brother scolded David. Who do you think you are to be talking to us like this? You don't have the right to say anything. But when Saul heard about David, he called for him. David told Saul, I will go and fight this Philistine. But Saul saw that David was just a boy. Still, David did not give up. He told Saul, how the Lord had helped him kill lions and bears all by himself. He said, The Lord who delivered me from the lion and the bear will deliver me from this Philistine. So Saul at last agreed. He offered David his own armour to wear, but it was far too heavy. Instead, he took only his staff, five smooth stones and a sling as he went out to meet Goliath. When Goliath saw David coming toward him, he mocked him and said, Am I a dog that you have come to me with sticks? David replied, You come to me with a sword and a spear and a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts. He will deliver you into my hand and I will strike you down. Everyone on earth will know it is the Lord who saves. As Goliath moved toward David, David put a stone in his sling and hurled it at Goliath. The rock hit him on the forehead and the mighty Goliath fell to the ground. Then David ran to Goliath, took out his sword and cut off his head, killing the great giant. When the Philistines saw that Goliath was dead, they ran in fear. The men of Israel chased them until they won a great victory. When we read this story, we like to compare ourselves with David. But really, we are more like the men of Israel, afraid to fight and in desperate need of a champion to save them. David was God's man for the job. He did what the Israelites could not do. The salvation David brought Israel should remind us of Jesus. Like David, Jesus was a king who went to battle on our behalf. His victory was over sin and death. Before David delivered the men of Israel from Goliath, they stood helpless against him, just as we are helpless to save ourselves and need Jesus to deliver us from sin. David's life points to Jesus. And this story helps us see that we are not saved by our own strength, but by God's power. So I love the story of David and Goliath, because I think what it teaches us is it doesn't matter how young you are, how small you are, or how big your problems are, if you've got God on your side, then uh, there's no problem, he can sort anything out. So I was tasked to come up with a craft for uh, the story of David and Goliath today. I thought, hmm, it would be great to make slingshots to uh, sling stones about the place. And then I thought, no, the sensible heads around us wouldn't let me do that. So I thought what we could do instead, I'd make Goliath and the Philistine army as a, a, a skittle alley. So here we have my version of Goliath and I'm going to show you how to make him. I, if you may have had a list already this weekend of things you need to make 
uh, what we're doing today. But if you haven't, I'm sure you can find them at a later date to make it. So you start with a piece of paper and on the piece of paper you draw a circle. Now you can use a pair of compasses for this, which would be good because then you get a centre point. But if you haven't got compasses, then you can just draw around a plate, which is what I've done on this sheet of paper. Then when you've done that, the next one I prepared earlier, you need to draw some lines on your circle. You draw one line straight across through the middle point. If you can't find the middle point, just guess where it is. It, it doesn't have to be exact. And then another line to make it into a quarter to go straight down. And this area here is going to become Goliath's face. So when you've done that, you need to cut out your circle. Which I've done here. You have the circle, the line across and the line down. Then in here, you want to draw your face of Goliath and his helmet and colour it in. Now I've done one earlier as well, so when I did it, it came out like this. So we have his chain mail around, covers the nose as well, which saves you having to draw an awkward nose. And just show his eyes and his mouth. And so you, cut, you draw that and colour it in. And so it's all finished. Now this comes the bit you need to do, which is to cut the circle as from, along the line as far as the middle point. You see, I've cut exactly to the middle point. And then you have to twist it. So you twist it into a cone like this. You twist it all the way round until the head reaches the line that you've, the other line you've drawn. And that'll be, make your cone for the head for Goliath. Just stick a bit of cell tape along this there and you will end up with Goliath's head. Then um, all you need after that is a tin can. Now I've used a Diet Coke can here, an empty one. Um, you could, could use an ordinary tin can if you want, but I suggest if you do that and it's empty, you get your parents to just uh, make it safe so that the jagged edge doesn't uh, hurt you at all. So with a can, you take another piece of paper and you measure out how tall the can is. Make it just a little bit shorter than the actual can so it fits on. So draw your line down to the right size and cut along that line. You can use coloured paper if you want, or you can colour it in, or you can do it like I've done, so just leave it white. You roll the paper, the can along the paper, sticking it on to the can first, and then when it's all the way down, you stick the two pieces of paper together. And that will give you Goliath as your main skittle. Uh, now, you may want to do more. If I was doing it at a time, I think I'd have 10 of these. But only one, the one at the front has got Goliath's head. The others would just be simply like that. Because if you remember in the story, Goliath was head and shoulders taller than anyone else. And then you just put it down on the floor, set it out like Skittles. And with a, with a soft ball, you can play Skittles. And I suggest that you have a special... Um, extra points if when you knock Goliath over his head falls off because if you remember in the story uh, David at the end cuts Goliath's head off after he's been killed so that's the craft for today David and Goliath as a skittle alley thank you hope you enjoyed our very first open door church kids church online we're going to be doing this every couple of weeks uh, send us in your ideas if you would like to see us do something that would be great uh, see you soon and stay on now for the adult service yeah